in the future, uh, we'll try and hold this event like once every two months. And if anybody who wants to step up and be uh, co-organizer, can just contact me, okay? Because uh, it would be good to have more eyes and ears and hands and brain. Okay, so I will go on to the next topic. Okay, so this... Uh, oh. need to extend mm, okay this topic is a uh, HTTP 2 and express it was actually uh, inspired by a uh, HTTP 2 topic that was presented by the PHP user group about two months ago yeah so I have to give them some credit uh. no actually we give them credit for this uh, okay so what are the features of HTTP 2 the most important is that uh, it's backward compatible with HTTP 1. So basically the same methods that are, uh, that are used like get, put, uh, post, all this, and the status codes uh, is, uh, is all the same. So the next one that's very important is actually the multiplex streams. So currently HTTP 1, every request you do is, uh, is one connection you have to establish get the data and close. So if like you have many pictures to pull for the web page, you basically open and close, open and close many, many times. So for HTTP 2, you just open one time, you, uh, every request using that one connection uh, to, to get all the data. Okay, the next thing is, is header compression. So the, the headers is uh, all is compressed. Uh. Uh, there's this server push, but uh, they're still, uh, still fi figure out what to use it for. Some people say that uh, some of the CSS not important to load, they'll push it out later. Uh, the other one is binary protocol. So the responses for HTTP2 is um, no more text. Uh. So if you want to use the curl and then you see, it's, it's a bit harder to see what you are getting back. Then the request priorities, this is another one where you can prioritize the request. Uh, this is an obscure feature which uh, also actually it's just there N not sure how good it will be in the real world okay so due to my multiplexing and handling of multi requests uh, no, handling multiple requests is cheap in http2 because you have only one dns lookup one connection uh, one slow start then you don't need to shut the domains um, so a lot of trouble can be taken out you don't need to concatenate your JS files or your CSS files, you can just yeah, serve as many, I mean a few files. Um, all these things are inlining and spriting is no longer needed. Um, and you don't really need to batch your methods for the RESTful API call. So it's your RESTful call, you need to do one call which calls another 5 or 10 calls. You can just go ahead and use HTTP2 without needing to write something to batch all the 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 API calls. So, yeah, there's the benefits. So, what's the downs? Uh, the other thing is um, major browsers, uh, actually, it's not benefit, but major browsers require HTTPS for HTTP2. That is uh, Firefox, Chrome, and uh, Microsoft, I think uh, Microsoft the Edge. Uh, the other benefit is with the header compression and the binary protocol, you have a smaller network footprint. Uh, the drawbacks is the binary protocol is harder to debug the response and it requires, because of the HTTPS, it requires a certificate. So for development, you can use self-signed cert, but production, uh, I think you need to get, you can get a free ones uh, from Let's Encrypt. Yeah, they're free ones. Okay, uh, so the, yeah, I mentioned already, the most support I accept Safari and Opera Mini. Uh, you can see it from this website, canius.com, and then you just search for HTTP2. They'll tell you uh, which one can use, which one cannot use. Okay, so on the server side, um, those using PHP or uh, uh, Apache, you just need to use this uh, mod HTTP2. Nginx from version 1.9.5 plus onwards. 
uh, our IIS is our version 10 on Windows 10 or our server 2016. So uh, yeah, you can start playing around with uh, HTTP2 if you have all this. Uh, the other, these are quite new. This H2O, uh, you do take note of this. Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, write-up on this because this one is purely built for, uh, I think they focus on HT HTTP2, this uh, H2O server. Yeah, so yeah, Apache Nginx H2O. Okay, so the references that I took for this uh, this uh, s this uh, talk was from uh, from from all these uh, sources. Uh, API card regarding how HTTP two uh, what you can expect for RESTful API services for HTTP two. Mm, okay, so um, before I go to the demo, there's one site that uh, I like to show. I think it's on Akamai. So there's a HTTP2 demo. Oh, yeah, you can't see it yet because I need to do this. Hold on. Okay, so this is the HTTP1 loading. Okay, this is HTTP2. So you see, this one loading lots of small little files that have lots of requests and using many, many connections, whereas this one has one connection and then they do many requests in a one connection and you can see uh, this uh, the load time is much faster don't have to up and tear down so do take note of this uh. this one was shown during the PHP meetup okay, so now going to the demo um, for those of you who are using Node.js it's very straightforward uh, basically you do an N npm install express and then after that you do an npm install spdy not HTTP2 because uh, HTTP2 to this module will not work on the current uh, Express which is version 4 only when it's uh, version 5 then these two will work okay, so after that to generate uh, SSL cert okay, so let me go straight in so this is the this is the project file that's uh, SSL cert already this is the code that is running. It's very simple and straightforward. Uh, you need the FS, the file system, to actually read the certificates, to pass in as an option, and then uh, basically express an app. So this is a very simple app. I will start with a HTTP2 first. And what happens is, okay, when you run the application, uh, sorry, not HTTP2, it's a, this one is HTTP, yes, HTTP. So when you test the application, okay, when do a, I, I do a refresh F5, okay, this one, oh, goodness, I need to start the thing. Okay, sorry, I refresh. Okay, so after you refresh, um, so this one, you will see the protocol is HTTP one. Okay, so I'm gonna change to, this is how you test whether the thing is, whether your, your thing is using HTTP two or HTTP one, whether you're using Node, Apache, uh, no, sorry, PHP or, uh, yeah, or whatever you're using. Okay, so now I will change to HTTP two. How come you're not killing yourself? Okay. So for HTTP2, I'll do F5. Okay, and then what happens is that down here you see this protocol H2. I think some of you can't see, but there's just the word H2 down here to indicate HTTP2. So this is how you test for the, whether it's HTTP1 or 2. You can use curl also, they will tell you what it's all about so I think with this I come to the end of the the, the talk and so uh, at this point of time the it's an open mic is there anyone who would like to make any announcement like you're hiring 
or looking for work or uh, if not um, can just we can just uh, get outside and just have some refreshment before going off anybody anyone to say something oh 